Welcome to the homework for lesson 10. This is module 6 of grade 2. Name first, please. This says, cut out the square tiles below. So let me zoom out a little bit. There, they're talking about the ones at the bottom of the page. Cut those out with some scissors and construct the following arrays with no gaps or overlaps. So you're just gonna, you're gonna cut all those squares out and play with them like they're puzzle pieces. And you're gonna make arrays so that they, all the edges touch and there's no gaps in between the squares and they're not they're not um, on top of each other so there's they're not overlapping each other and what we're going to write down here is a repeated addition equation to match each construction on the line now you might already know in your head what repeated addition equation to write but it really is worth it to take the time to cut it out and actually make the array. It really is worth it. So uh, I hope you take the time to do that. Um, it will really help you with the uh, making the number sentence, the repeated addition equation. And it just really makes, it really helps you with, if you ever get mixed up with rows and columns, even just like, even though you know what rows are, you know what columns are, but once in a while you kind of mix it up and you, and you get confused and you don't just please practice it. It's worth cutting it out and taking the time to do it. Construct a rectangle with two rows of four. So two rows of four means two groups of four. So that's two fours. And there's most of the time there's more than one repeated addition equation you can write for an array because this is going to be two rows of four this i'm going to draw a picture of what the array should look like here so two rows of four and this is going to be kind of a tiny picture and you don't have to draw this picture but i am just so you can see what you know if you made it you should know what it looks like two rows of four is going to look like this uh -huh. Can look like that so you can either you can as you can see you can have two fours right or you could have four twos either one of those would work for that array so there's going to be two different repeated addition equations you could you could write that would work for any of these arrays construct a rectangle with two columns of four that one's going to look like this two columns a four is going to look like that, more more squarish than my little sketch here, but that's about what it should look like. So two columns of four. You can see I can either write four twos, or uh, which is uh, or two columns two columns of four. I'm going to say it's, I'm just going to write four plus four equals eight. But you could you could have or twos there also. Construct a rectangle with three rows of two. So that's going to look like this. Three rows, two in each row, so it's going to look like that. And I can say that's two, three rows of two. So that's two. That's the first row. There's the second row. There's the third row. Oops. I said third row and wrote a three, and it's supposed to be all twos, and then equals six. Construct a rectangle with three columns of two each. So three columns, there's three columns, and now there's two in each column. So three columns of two. Or you could have had three plus three. That would have worked too. Right? Because there would have been one row and two rows. Construct a rectangle using ten tiles. So there are there are one, two, there's three. There's four different ones you can do. I'm gonna do one of them. 
and make two rows of five because it's going to look just like a 10 frame. So if you made that one, you could have also had uh, two columns of five, or you could have had one row of ten or one column of ten. Those would have worked also. And uh, construct a rectangle using, okay, so we need repeat addition equation for this. I can have two fives or five twos. And now I make one using 12 tiles. Well, that's just that's another even number. So I can have the same 10 frame and just put make one more column. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. That's six twos equals 12. What shape is the array pictured below? Well, what shape is it? Is it a triangle? Is it a circle? Is it an oval? It is a rectangle. If it has, if it's a flat closed shape with four straight sides and it has four of these right angles or square corners, then it's a rectangle. In the space below, redraw the above shape with one more column. Okay, so that's this shape right here. I'm going to redraw it here. And I'm going to draw what it would look like if it had one more column. So let's see, we need we have a column of four. Right? And now I need that shape has three of these columns and I you know I can do better right because this is supposed to be a rectangle isn't it so you can do it like this one at a time and it's gonna be hard to get it not to come out looking lumpy uh, so I'm going to show you two ways to draw it so there's uh, I need one more column there now you may see right here that you're going to need four columns of four to start with and you can just draw the rectangle to begin with which and you can do that and now so that's that's just another way to draw you need to draw them like one square at a time like that or one column or row at a time or you can just draw the rectangle and then draw grid lines inside what shape is that array now now looking at this each side is the same length isn't it because each side is four that's four long this is four long this is four long or if they're tape diagrams right they'd all be four long so there'll be four units long so now it's a rectangle with equal sides, so that's a square. And if you wrote rectangle, you'd, you'd be right. It would still be a rectangle. And in fact, you could write a lot of things there because a square is really, it's also a rhombus, and it's also a parallelogram. It's, so it's a lot of different things. All rectangles are parallelograms. Draw a different array of tiles that is the same shape as for C. So the only way you can draw a different array that's also a square is to draw a bigger square or a smaller square. So, and you can do use the, uh, use these, use these guys here right play with them they're puzzle pieces right use those to figure out what you're gonna draw first so that way you don't have to fix it draw it redraw it and then erase it and then draw it again if you're drawing one square at a time play around with the pieces make your make another square that doesn't have 
right? Now, if the sides are all fours, what if I had the sides were all uh, sixes? And they, you know, they could be twos or whatever. As long as they're all the same, we'd still have a square, right? So and we want to try and have the squares inside to be about the same size. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and I need one more row because I need six. And this column is kind of goofy, so I'm going to fix it so it looks a little bit more like a square. And this is as good as I'm going to get it, I think. So this is, it should be six on every side now, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. That's it. And you could have one that's two by two. You could have had one that's... I really, you could have had one that's one by one. That's a square. One unit by one unit. Uh, you could draw a bigger square. It would be harder to draw a square much bigger than that. I mean, much bigger than a six by six.